Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how you can capture information about your environment uh, using sensors. In this lab I will be detecting the temperature and the amount of light, but the same approach can be applied to a wide range of different sensors. In my previous videos I have demonstrated how a microcontroller, like an Arduino, can be used to control things. That's an important part of the Internet of Things, but there is another as important part that is about capturing information about the environment. The components that are used to do this are called sensors, and the name correctly leads the thoughts to our human senses, because they can be regarded as digital senses. There are many different sensors, and they can sense things like temperature, light, humidity, magnetism, tilt, rotation, sound, touch, shock, if there is an obstacle, a knock, proximity, flame, pulse, and much more. Here you can see the needed hardware. And in addition to the Arduino, the important component are the two sensors. One to capture the temperature and another to capture the amount of light, known as a photocell or photoresistor. To connect everything you need a breadboard and eight jumper cables that have a male pin on each end. To set up the hardware you start by disconnecting everything from its power source as usual. First you connect the Arduino to the ground and the ground on the breadboard and then you connect the 5 volt on the Arduino to the power or plus on the breadboard. Connect the two sensors to the breadboard as shown here and then connect both power and ground to the respective pins on each sensor. The pins labeled S is where the sensor sends out its signal and as they are analog signals we connect them to the analog ports that are marked with A. Connect the signal of the temperature sensor to A0 and the signal of the light sensor to A1. Here is the Arduino code or sketch and after the initial includes, constants for the two analog input pins are defined on lines 3 and 4, and two variables are prepared on line 5 and 6. In the setup, the initial, we initialize the bridge on line 10, which allows communication between the microcontroller and the microprocessor. And then we set up the console on line 11 to 13 so that we can see the values read. The internal loop starts by reading the value from the temperature sensor and since the value is a raw value in the range 0 to 1023 it needs to be converted on lines 19 to 21 and 23 to a temperature using a formula. The formula is called steinhardt thermison equation and you can read more about it on Wikipedia, I put the link there in the description. The first temperature logged on line 22 is in Celsius, and the second on line 24 is in Fahrenheit. The light sensor value is read on line 26 and logged on line 27, and then the loop holds for a second on line 28 to calm the feed of values. Please see my previous videos on how to load the code or sketch onto the Arduino and to see the console log. You need to open the terminal window and give the following commands. And here you replace uh, 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 with the IP address of the Arduino, June. And you find it in the tools and ports menu of the Arduino IDE. And when you connect the console, you can see how the values are logged from the sensors to the terminal window. So using this approach, you can capture information about the environment with a wide range of different sensors. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.